right, guys, it's part two here. Alexi Bellion here. And what am I doing with you this time? All right, so we're going to do a couple things. And you guys know my goal is to actually work on the um, these robots that we've created. However, I'm not going to create a tutorial that just says, you know, Mr. Bellion, I know you drew four. You came up with four, and then you made two out of the two here, then one, and then you further developed it. I'm not going to demo that. I'm going to demo, basically, the elements that are required to make this on your own and the example I'm using this time it's not a robot it's actually a little snowman in the environment so because similar things similar tools will be applied in creating your robot having said that let's get going okay a couple big things right off the bat you create something and this is in 2018 it's a basic simple cylinder it's a primitive and at this point visually this is what I am seeing if you've watched my uh, chess pieces you will see the first thing I do is go into this item and find out what the radius is for example if I'm making the top hat and I want to stylize it for example which is right there right now let me bring my grid on so you guys can see that I'm actually working in the center here um, the height let's pop this height to 2.5 just to see what that looks like see it's a little taller Okay, I'll bring it up only on the Y. And what I want to do is uh, make a, another material, another cylinder, of course. And this time I want it to be wider, so I'll do the, this part here, the hat. This is kind of a review and then taking a little couple things extra. So the radius for this is 1. So what if I go 1.25? What do I get? Not bad. And then visually, that's not bad. So I'll go to 1.35. Just to, Okay, awesome. Look at this height. I can actually squash it down, or I can say, you know what, point five and let's see what that does see too much no worries so press R and you're good to go like so let's forget R let's go to point two five awesome okay so you know that from the previous tutorial so what I want to do now is talk about this cylinder and how, how I can taper it out to make it more funky like this one here okay more interesting and you know top hats if I had to draw, let's see, uh, what do we got here? A pencil, let's say. You've got this shape here. We understand. You've got that. But sometimes what you'll find is people will even squish this down. Pardon me. Here we go. And we'll do something like that. Okay, so you can even squash it in this sense as opposed to just being this. Okay, so maybe we'll, we'll even uh, stretch it on this side to make it more... Uh, interesting let's see how we can create that later uh, all right so first thing first I want to taper the top as you guys know I use this example that any primitive that we actually select has a face you've learned that in your math class in elementary school and here's the face and that face has four edges boom one two three four if I double click uh, sometimes in a in a cylindrical environment if I double click an edge see right click here hold it do you see your spider web double click it the whole ring ideally gets selected there you go okay so back to the cube in this case we know that the cube has edges so I'll come over here object mode hold it down right click and I have an edge one and I hold shift I can select multiple edges isn't that interesting if I press R now watch how cool this is I can make this interesting right that's nice uh, also if I want one side of the edge to be lower so I'm, I'm just gonna go to edge here press W for move and I can bring that down okay so this is kind of a review you're working on things and you're saying yeah you know what I want that face underneath mr. Valiant to go lower so watch what I mean, I mean to become longer I guess or in height face and let's make sure nothing else selected. And you can see we got multiple faces. So we just want to double check that only one face. Click out, click once, and go, why is this happening? Hold shift, bye bye. Now we got another one. Isn't that interesting? Okay, so we have one face selected. So if I want right now, I could bring that down. Okay, isn't that nice? So we've got a new shape created. Object mode to get out. So what I was getting at here is this. If you want to move a basic primitive, you have to be in object mode. The minute you right click and do edge, vertex, or face, that means you're getting under the hood of the car. And for the next little while, Maya is going to think you're actually working under the hood of the car to make changes. But if you want to make a global move, like uh, transform, you just have to go object, click once on it, W, and then you can move the entire object. Okay, so under the hood is when you play with the edges, the faces, and the vertices like this. 
and you bring this up down that kind of thing so that's kind of fun all right so let's kind of bring this to the cylinder id uh, and let's make a top hat so i'm here i'm looking at this uh, rim right now press r rim of the hat and i can squash that down is that nice cool w bring that up okay so now i'm going to say to myself you know what even the ring here it's a perfect cylinder why don't i taper the bottom so again, I'm holding option middle scroll button down to pan. This you need to be comfortable and then option left click. You can orbit around or spin around. So watch what I'll do now. I'll right click, go to edge and double click. The entire ring is selected. Zoom out a bit, press R and only spin around until you see the inside cube and spin in that. Isn't that nice? So we've got this little thing happening and now we want to bring the whole thing down. Now be careful, do not go W and do this because now you've got certain things that are not selected that's not your friend what you want to do is go object yeah balian said about the entire object so you always have to go right click bring your spider web and select object mode and kick in here isn't that nice so the two together that looks good now um this is looking at what if i want to squash this from the side so if i press r now look what i can do here i can come in here and do something like that okay so I've even squashed it further and it's in one axis okay normally when I say to you guys scale always scale from the center but this time I'm only bringing it in from one axis so you're getting a taper to some degree okay see now it's cylindrical this way down okay now if I want to bring the rim like the top here down here's where you got to go under the hood again go to vertex and let's see what I can do. I'm just going to come over here with my marquee select. When I say marquee select, guys, I'm just grabbing an arrow and I'm spinning around to see some faces. And, and you don't have to be this detailed, but this is kind of cool. Watch what I can do. Press W. I can bring that down a bit. Okay. So, and then I can take the center one, bring that down, whatever. If you want to do that, you can then take these two here. You have to zoom in, obviously. And let, let's keep this simple. Let's bring this down a bit, that one. A touch this one and you go and now you're starting to get this kind of interesting shape right okay so vertices are very interesting very powerful you can make this irregular looking so we can come over here select one vert only vertices for plural vertex see and I can have fun here like so I can actually continue this contour here make a nice curve and go that way what I'm saying to you is this inside view I'm doing this here Okay, um, and of course you wouldn't see that. You would just go, maybe the hat would go up like this, down. Come on in, come on in. I'm recording, come on in. Yeah, so you can see here, you got that happening, the hat. So we're doing something more like that, okay? It's like a coffee cup. <laughs> I'm having fun here. Okay, so really roughing it out, moving around here. Yeah, that's what we want, just a little thickness there, okay? So you can control those curves here through verts. So imagine you have a vertex here, vertex there. Let me change the color here. You will see verts. And these vertices, if you, you, if you have the patience, you can do some interesting things, okay? I'll leave this app out of the way. Thank you, Sketchbook. Turn around. And you guys can do the rest of this. So to get out of this, object mode. Very, very important, okay? So I think this is cool. Now, this same technique that I just sh showed you, let me uh, zoom in here for a second, press F. And notice now the twigs that I took, that I made from cylinders, are tapered. So again, the same idea. I took a hat, now I'm taking a cylinder, and I'm converting it to a twig, per se. So what do we do here? You look at this and you go, okay, let me see what the thickness is. Or you can go to town on your scale tool. So I'm going to go to 0.15. Look how thin that is, okay? That's not bad. Let me take these two here and only on the Y. See you later. Okay, so let's say I'm going to make a tree, right? Or a twig. Same idea. Again, same functions, multiple solutions. That's how I like to teach. I'm not trying to get you guys to memorize a million things here. So here's my supposed twig or tree, whatever. So watch this. Right click again, edge, double click, R for scale. Sweet. That's in. Okay. So now that's over here. So if I zoom in here for a second, option middle scroll, uh, actually no option left click. I'm using a stylus, so it's kind of like different here. Double click, R, okay. And then I'm gonna right click and go to object mode. So watch this. I'm making these miniature trees, right? Now watch, I'll take another cylinder, 
boom and we remember that we did point something right so what if I go point one look at that W which is the move tool and there it is there's this one you're saying to yourself hey too high Mr. Ballion R scale that sweet okay zoom in here again and look at this and say okay so if this is my base W that's not bad I can even taper that one if I want to okay so look same commands zoom in here look right click hold the spider web get edge double click R for scale let's pop that out a bit nice get out of it right click object mode sweet W to move okay so I just created a tree this is a twig it's the same thing duplicate move it down and so on a couple of things that I said to you guys okay so I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna duplicate it command D and I'm gonna pop it over here and then you're gonna say you know what Mr. Ballion I want to move these two together and that worked okay well what if I grab these two as well together and move them they work sometimes you're gonna find that when pieces are multiple pieces they're not moving together too well so a couple things you can do select a hold shift means multiple select just like in Adobe Photoshop Illustrator whatever you want okay so if you want to multi select here you go shift 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 left click and you can multi select so again click once hold shift boom you click you selected two things now here's what you can do you can go mesh combine that's your friend makes it one piece okay later you will see that we will kill the history here uh, delete history and center pivot that's always important um, I'll talk about that in another lesson in the future so here's my tree now I'm gonna make this part here and you guys can duplicate command D move that over press R scale it up and then you just made a second tree from the initial one isn't that nice so if I press W and I bring it down here wherever the floor is and now I have two trees from creating one so the idea is for you guys to be efficient in your design work sometimes you have to re reuse items you've selected from before okay that doesn't look too perpendicular to me so I don't know what's going on there it doesn't matter at this point W get out or actually Q and I'm definitely out okay so here I'm gonna talk about uh, the arm here so I'm repeating the same things over and over just so you guys get to think on your own I'm not creating tutorials for you guys to follow step by step you're not learning anything from that so let's hope this will work so let me go to point zero five in here for radius let's see what happens point zero five super thin right cool so now let's watch this for a second this is gonna be a twig for the arm okay of the snowman spin around maybe <laughs> I've gone really thin here okay uh, right click edge double click R you know this boom scales out awesome object mode great so let's go to object mode sorry and zoom out press W let's pretend that we are moving it here by my um, snowman here okay E to rotate so watch this I've rotated it W bringing it up on the world right so what if I change the system here this is cool showed you guys this in class yesterday so let's pretend this is the arm but I want to duplicate on the axis that it's on right now so watch this you double click on the move tool double click I command you there you go world so the world is X as you know right left wise up and down but if I change this to object this is all you need to remember now look how cool this is if I press command D for duplicate you now can duplicate on the same axis isn't that nice and I can pop in E here spin around for rotate and I can do an, a different one a different angle and bring that up and together they're kind of interesting okay so you got that happening so the idea of using object is fantastic and um, you can actually you know start moving things that are on a similar axis okay so that being said and done let me just create a layer and hide this I'm gonna select the two shift select click on the ball here new layer and then see you later gone okay so let's say you made this object and you merged it or let's call it uh, combine but I want to change it up a bit okay so here's what I'll do I'm gonna duplicate it command D again mm, right there sweet so I'm gonna move it over here and I'm gonna say you know what I'm, I'm changing my mind I'm finding this stub stub or base of the tree too thin okay so you're gonna to go to mesh like before instead of combine you're gonna go separate 
and then you need to center the pivot right after see how cool that is centered center this is thank you to 2018 those shortcuts used to be uh, modify center pivot right here and okay so that's nice so now you you've separated this and now you can go R do whatever you want you can make the tree like taller and so on right and go here take this one hello come on in and work I'm just recording and then you can just take that W made that taller slide that up okay and I'm going to select the two again just like before mesh combine sometimes you want to center the pivot you're good to go so you made another tree come on in come on in and work please yeah okay so here's all these things I've reviewed a number of things and it's over 15 minutes ay 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 I'm I'm recording a lesson okay so here it is I've done this much I hope you guys can work with this you can work with the vertices the edges and so on okay for now I think this is good the next thing I'll do is I'll make him make a fun terrain and then or extrude objects okay talk to you guys later bowing out